Hello, I'm T. Hoffman. I'm the Managing Principal here at Law Strategy Coach, and it's time for another Two Minute Tuesday. I did a training session yesterday with the firm, and the training was on how to find your ideal client. And a question that was raised by one of the attorneys in the room was, what is the difference between a lead and a prospect? Now, some of you may be familiar with what we call a sales funnel. And I know lawyers don't like to think they're in the selling business, but we are all selling ourselves all the time to clients, to referral sources, to past clients. And by selling, I mean relationship building and making sure that we are top of mind to the people who actually can use our services. So when you think about a lead, what I want you to think about are the people who, for example, read your newsletter. They may be on the listserv that you're on. They may have attended a seminar or a speaking engagement. In other words, they may have some interest in what you provide, but they're not yet qualified. And by qualified, I mean that you've actually started to develop a relationship with them where you are considered kind of the person of choice for them to either refer work to or actually hire when they have a legal need. And remember, most of our clients don't need us until they need us. So staying top of mind is critically important. Now, if you have, let's say, 100 leads and you're looking through all of these contacts that you have, only about 20 of them, 20% of them, excuse me, will actually become qualified prospects. Why so few? Well, some of them may already have a law firm that they're working with. Some of them may not be able to afford your rates. Some of them may want an attorney that's within their geographic footprint and you're not. Some of them may just not like you for whatever reason. So when you think about that, if you have 10 leads and only 20% of them are actually going to become qualified prospects, that's about two people, right? So what you've got to do is continue to not only generate leads, but you have to continue to work those qualified prospects because those are the people who are aware of what you actually provide. They have shown an interest in what you provide or they've referred you work in the past or for example, maybe they're a past client and they may need you again or need the services of someone else in your firm, but they are moving towards a decision to either hire you again or refer you work. And so as you think about leads, remember those are people who are unqualified. You haven't built yet a sustainable relationship with them, but your prospects, you need to be working all the time, year round. So I hope this is helpful to you. I hope you'll take advantage of our online training, which is at lawstrategycoach.thinkific.com. And if you have questions about this video, I hope that you'll reach out to me at t at lawstrategycoach.com. Also, I hope you'll take advantage of our kind of special that we're still offering through January the 15th. If you mention Two Minute Tuesday or go to our training site, there is a special offer. You just have to email me. And if you watch this video, you can actually get some free online training. So have a great rest of your week. I hope 2022 is off to a great start. I hope you'll share this video with your peers and other people within your firm. And I hope you'll subscribe. Thanks so much.